Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently training for the Manchester Marathon which is in April which is seven weeks away. So I thought I would make a series of training vlogs documenting my training to basically keep track for myself because it's my first marathon but also to show people what it's like to train for a marathon. So this video is vlog number four in my marathon training with scoliosis series. I've kind of lost track what week I'm on now training wise. It feels like I've been training forever um, but the Manchester Marathon is seven weeks away and I'm now starting to feel a little bit nervous and worrying about what I've let myself in for. I thought I would start this video by summarising what I did last week because I didn't make a vlog last week and just going over what's coming up in the week ahead of training. If you're new here, I make videos about my life with scoliosis. If you're wondering what scoliosis is, then um, I have a video all about scoliosis. It's a sideways curvature of the spine. So yeah, I have scoliosis and I'm currently challenging myself to run my first marathon. And whether that's a good or a bad thing, we shall see. <laughs> I will say though, although it's my first marathon, I have been running for about seven years on and off and I would consider myself fairly experienced. I am working very closely with a run coach who's also a physio who's helping to keep me safe and strong while I'm training for this marathon. I think it's really important for anybody who's training for a marathon or any kind of endurance event to be aware of any pre-existing weaknesses, whether you have scoliosis or not, uh, because activities like running will really expose any weaknesses that you may have. So as I'm obviously aware that I have scoliosis, I'm working really closely with my run coach. I'm working on lots of strength training and making sure that I take lots of rest days as well in between training um, and making sure that my sessions are not too fast or too hard um, and keeping things nice and gentle to help prevent me from getting injured. If you're interested I have made a whole video on my top tips for running with scoliosis. So on to the week of training that I've done this week. Monday was a rest day where I did a, a 30 minute walk and 30 minutes of strength exercises. Tuesday I went to my local run club and did six miles at a slow pace. Wednesday I had a rest day. Thursday I ran five miles at a slightly quicker pace than what I would usually do. Friday I did a 35 minute slow recovery run and today, which is Saturday, I did a slow and steady park run. I'm going to start my week this week from tomorrow which is Sunday. So tomorrow I'm going to be doing my long run of the week which this week is 13 miles. I have already planned the route that I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going early in the morning and one of my good friends is joining me which I'm very grateful for so that I don't need to do the whole 13 miles by myself. However, the weather looks absolutely terrible. And then the week ahead this week, I have Monday, I have a walk and 35 minutes of strength training. Tuesday, I have 45 minute low heart rate run and 15 minutes of strength training. Wednesday is a five mile easy run. Thursday is 35 minutes easy run and 15 minutes of strength training. Friday is a rest day and Saturday is an easy 35 minute run and 15 minutes of strength training. So let's see how I get on this week 
and please feel free to subscribe if you wish to follow my marathon training journey. Also if you have any tips for me please leave them in the comments below because I feel like I need all the help I can get at this stage. <laughs>
so glad that's over. <laughs> so we managed to do the 13 miles in horrific weather. It was really windy, um, quite heavy rain, and I'm absolutely soaked now. So I'm going to go and have a nice hot bath. Well, I'd say that this is the sort of run you would call a character building run. <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad it's done and um, absolutely soaked. But well, that's marathon training for you, especially in February. It's Tuesday and I am just about to go out and do a 45 minute easy recovery run after work and look, ignore the mess, but it's still light outside, which is amazing because <laughs> normally when I finish work it's already dark so it's nice to be able to go out and run when it's still fairly light. So yesterday was a rest day after my long 13 mile run on Sunday. Yesterday I did some strength training and also I did a 30 minute walk at lunchtime. Um, and today, yeah, I'm just about to go out and do the 45 minute recovery run. But before that, I'm going to do 15 minutes of resistance band exercises. Uh, my legs are feeling quite heavy and tired from the run at the weekend, which is normal, I assume. So yeah, this run is just all about recovering really from that. Uh, I did have some, I went to see my physio at lunchtime today and I had a sports massage, which has helped um, my legs do feel better after that so <clears throat> yeah so hopefully that plus this recovery run will do me some some good That was really hard. <laughs> so I did the 45 minutes um, easy run, low heart rate. So normally, you know, that feels pretty easy. And to be honest, like it did in terms of heart rate and breathing and everything like, you know, it was easy, low heart rate. But my legs, my calves were so tight. I struggled, like, I think from the run on Sunday, they're still really tight. Um, so, yeah, the fit, it took me about, I'd say, almost half an hour for them to start feeling all right and loosen up. So, yeah, that was quite painful. Uh, but, yeah, it's done now. today and I've been listening to the wind thinking oh I've got to go out in that later um, I've got five miles to do tonight so hopefully I don't get blown away <laughs> Yeah, I'm just in pain. 
pain now. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm just I found that run quite hard, like my legs are hurting, my back's hurting um at the bottom and I think I just need a rest. I've got the Wrexham half marathon on Sunday. Um so that was my last longish run before then tonight. So I've got tomorrow I've got thirty five minute easy run Friday's a rest day and then I've got another 35 minutes on Saturday so yeah I'm looking forward to the the uh slower shorter runs that has to be said because yeah I'm starting to feel it now it's getting hard um just I could really So I've just done 35 minutes easy um, at a low heart rate and now tomorrow is a rest day and then I've got one more easy run on Saturday, half an hour before the Wrexham half marathon um, which is on Sunday. So even though that was meant to be an easy run, my legs are still feeling heavy and tight um, from the run, the long run I did on Sunday. So I'm hoping that things improve before the half marathon because, yeah, it's um, that was quite difficult even though it was at an easy pace. So yeah, looking forward to a rest day tomorrow and um, we'll see how it goes and I've just got to go and do 15 minutes of resistance bands now. So it's Friday and it's my rest day. Yay! Um, which I'm glad about because there's an actual storm outside, um, Storm Eunice I think it's called. So yeah I've literally been working today from home and I haven't done anything, it's been an actual rest day for a change. Now the plan was that I was meant to be going and doing the Wrexham Half Marathon on Sunday um, but unfortunately due to said storm that's actually been cancelled um, which means that I unfortunately don't get out of running my 13 miles um, I'm going to go instead and do it tomorrow early in the morning um, I think whatever time I go the weather's going to be bad but it looks like the earlier I go the less likely it may be to be raining but who knows I think it's going to be pretty bad all day so yeah I was hoping for another rest day tomorrow but unfortunately due to the storm um yeah I still need to go and do my 13 miles tomorrow so yeah I'm not really looking forward to it um it will be an early start and it's not going to be pleasant but again the joys of marathon training in February um, I'm gonna get it done and you know it will be it'll be good training I'm just gonna have a look at what route I'm gonna do now and um, yeah another early night then So today I'm going to try these gels, these are new ones that I've not had before, um, the aqua gels so we'll see how they are um, and I've also bought some of this 
energy drink that I'm going to try in my water today um, and some of these gummies as well and I'm also going to try flapjack <laughs> so yeah um, apparently you're meant to aim for 60 to 90 carbs per hour during a marathon and one of these has got 23 grams of carbohydrates in so yeah it gives you an idea of how much you need really um, there is a lot to this marathon training and it's a lot more technical um, than I than I realised um, you know having to think about fuel while you're running um, and how much you need and getting it all right it's yeah it's quite difficult so any tips would be appreciated but yeah I'm going to try these today and see how I go the calm before the storm seems all right at the moment weather wise So it's 10am and I've just got back from doing my 13 mile run so I'm pretty chuffed with myself to be honest. Um, going early certainly paid off. It started off quite well in terms of the weather and now it's um, sleeting sideways so I think um, yeah got back just at the right time so the last few miles were a bit wet but I'm glad that the majority of it was not bad weather considering the forecast for the weekend. Um, my legs are really stiff. I struggled with that a little bit more than the previous two just because I think my legs are tired. Um, but in terms of you know breathing, you know, I could have carried on. It didn't feel difficult in that sense. It was more my legs, my back, you know, just feeling sore. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go inside now have a bath and a recovery drink because it's absolutely freezing and yeah I need to get out for uh, back inside before the storm starts <laughs> run of the week which is 45 minutes easy recovery run and as you can see the weather is horrendous really windy and rainy uh, to be honest I didn't feel that bad um, yesterday after the run after the 13 and a half mile run I was absolutely knackered and my legs I could hardly walk and I couldn't walk up the stairs and last night I was just asleep really early my whole body just hurts 
especially my lower back, my legs and my hips. Um, this morning I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm in a world of pain. <laughs> oh, like that run actually felt alright, felt quite comfortable and it was a low heart rate, slow run. But yeah, I think it's really helped so it's crazy. Yeah, I'm just going to go inside now and do my um, strength training exercises and get out of the rain. Next week I've got a similar training block. Um, I've got a few easy runs in the week and then on Saturday I've got 17 miles, which is the longest run I've done so far. So, you'd like to follow me on my journey please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video